Okay guys, we just got our first 2023 heavy duty truck. Uh, this is actually not ours, it's a fleet truck. We haven't gotten our inventory units in yet, but look at this, this is a base Bighorn. And look, it's got the new towing mirrors. This is actually a Hemi. I don't know if this is new for 23, but there's no badge on it. Maybe it's because because it's a fleet order. Maybe it, they opted not to have it. It doesn't say on the window sticker, but here it is. 59,000, it's only got three options. Protection group, Snow Chief group, which I really like. That's my favorite there, you can see the prices. But uh, 59000 for a Hemi four-wheel drive 23 Bighorn fleet. But uh, look at this. I guess for the 2500s, they're also not getting the painted handles because it's a Bighorn. No painted handles on this truck. Otherwise, exterior, everything looks the same. Again, no painted handles. Bighorn, but now all Bighorns have the black handles and I think Rebels too. And a little downgrade there, but look at these mirrors. I can't wait to take a look at these. Otherwise, all looks the same. Look at these bad boys. Honestly, guys... At first in photos, I did not like it, but now seeing it in person, look at this one's got the full bottom. I guess the higher end ones have like a square here for a light. I actually like it here with the full convex mirror on the bottom. These things look pretty dang good, honestly. In person, it completely changed my mind. I actually really like it now seeing it in person. See, look at the Snow Chief group. You get the clearance lights. Just makes the truck look awesome. And look how dirty this thing. This is just how most trucks come off the truck. They just sit in these lots before they get here so dirty stepping inside look at the 2500s now have the buttons off the 1500s so you got the new buttons i'll put a picture right here of what the old buttons looked like um, those were the same buttons since 2012 they finally put in the new buttons from the fifth gen trucks obviously probably because they could put that other new button right here for when you get the big display but here let's start up this uh, big old hemi real quick for you guys oh look there's a new little animation He's got like a little mountain around the big horn. That's cool. That was not there before. But otherwise, everything looks the same. This is just a base model big horn and uh, looks pretty good. Nothing new to see in here that I can tell. But best screen's probably that one. But look at this, you guys. Even though this is a base model, here, I guess this will actually be a better angle. You do get the power adjustable convex mirror. So roll down the window here. You guys can see. Press the uh, you know left there, press that. You can adjust the bottom mirror even on the base model. It's so awesome. You don't have to get like a Laramie to adjust it. And uh, obviously you can just turn that off, keep right there, and then you can adjust the top one too. So that is really nice. These things are actually really good. Look how much more visibility you get right there. To extend these guys out, these ones are fully manual. You just pull on it and that's how much more reach you get. So with the dirt there, you can really see it looks about almost three inches there of extra reach. That's about all you get, but Look at that, looks pretty dang good. Let's extend them both out, get the full moose mirror look, I guess. I guess they're just always up, because I would say they're definitely taller. That You just have moose mirrors all the time. Now, look at that thing. That thing's actually pretty good looking. I don't know, I actually like it. I feel like if you had like a lift or maybe like on a dually, this thing would look good, or like some bigger tires, because they do, they do look really big, that's for sure. They're just always in moose mode now, always up. But they look pretty awesome. I actually, I like them. You fold in. These are just manual ones, so they just fold in like that. Fold out. And let's adjust this one over here. I think that looks pretty good, honestly. Bottom one. I don't know. I wish you could adjust it. Oh, no, that you can adjust that pretty dang good. Look how much you can see. That's pretty nice. I don't like that over there at the edge. You just see the mirror in the mirror, or the edge of the, like, the plastic in the mirror. They kind of made that little piece stick out too far, but otherwise you can still see quite a bit. But uh looks good. But yeah, you guys can see, like there's mirror all right here, but it sees that. So that kind of cuts it off. Kind of poor design there maybe, but otherwise pretty nice. These are big. These are big and uh I like them. Definitely more visibility than the old ones, that's for sure. Wow. How is that? I mean, that one's still not the objects appear closer in the mirror, but still looks pretty dang good say that's a win I, I like these mirrors we'll see how they are on the nicer models where it has this like little box cut out right here see if that's any different but i do like the fact that these are power adjustable for both mirrors even on a base trim level they're not power folding or anything like that on the base trim but they at least are pretty dang nice but that's pretty much all for the bighorn here a base model bighorn nothing else new um does have the nicer uh mirror here uh, i don't think that might just be standard now or something but instead of that like that base cheapy one um yeah nothing else just a hemi give a little sounds good love the good old hemi in this thing
Just noticed something. I put it at full reach. Look at that like weird little like half round circle thing you get. That's going to totally fill up with mud or whatever if you're keeping that out for a while. Looks a little strange, but there it is. Full reach though. It actually does extended both of them out. You get really good visibility. Like you could definitely see a lot there. I think better for the driver's side for the smaller mirror to be extended out. You get to see a little more. As far as visibility through the mirrors, I think you do get a better mirror, but I don't know. It seems a little bit like it has its positives and negatives. I do like it. It is pretty nice looking mirror. Let me know what you guys think. Here, we'll take one last look of it outside. Look at that, how it's kind of like, what is it? There's like a big old pocket in there. Huh, that's not gonna be good. That's gonna get filled up with mud. You go try to push your mirror and it might not be good. But uh, otherwise, I don't know, I like how it looks. I think it looks pretty decent. It's not bad. They're definitely big though. They look really big. Actually, look at this. Look at the uh, door. Look how much further down this thing reaches. Wow, the other ones only go out about to like right there. And these ones like go way down on the door. And the thing is, this is a fourth gen door. So theoretically, I think you guys can put this mirror onto a fourth gen truck. So these mirrors right here, I'm gonna call it right now. And I'm gonna say these mirrors can go onto any fourth gen truck, you know, after 2010 or 09, depending if it's a 1500 or 2500. But uh, yeah, since this is the same door as a fourth gen, because right here, here's a fourth gen uh, classic. This is the same door. Look, actually we have one right here. Forget about that. Look at that. There's tow mirrors right there. And see how much further it reaches down. But same door as this truck over here. And look how much it reaches down. Dang. But uh, yeah, you guys, let me know what you guys think of the mirrors. I think you can put them on uh, fourth gen trucks because I think it'll probably just go right up, bolt up to it, but looks pretty good not too bad well you guys there's the 2500s with the new mirror can't wait to get a nicer 2500 because actually i think the big horns we're getting in they're they're really loaded up but i don't think they're still not going to have the display i'm going to wait until we get a really nice 2500 i'll make another video on that one because i want to like go over all of it because with the new bigger display for the uh, dash cluster in there here's this one on the mirrors i really just wanted to check out these mirrors so i'm glad this fleet truck came in so thank you guys for watching and uh see you guys in the next video you guys look i'm in the green truck we're actually driving I still have it hot wired. Let's let out the clutch slowly and we'll start moving. But we can only idle, that's all we can do. We just did it to move the truck. Okay, there we go. We're gonna idle up into the driveway here. But look, we can drive it around. Look at that, we got good uh, everything. So hopefully we can make it up into the driveway. I was trying to open and kind of get a running start at it. It's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna get off the gas. Come on, come on, chug up the hill, chug up. Woo! <laughs> this is awesome. There we go, we made it up in here. <laughs> yes, it can move, but only in idle. <laughs>